How many passengers can you fit on a Boeing 747? Anywhere between 400 and 500 is normal, but there is one historical case where it was as high as 1,122. This happened in 1991 as part of Operation Solomon, with Israeli airline El Al evacuating Ethiopian Jews to Israel. In the process, the operation set a record for the most passengers on one flight, which still holds today. Fitting 1,122 passengers on a 747 is, of course, not normal. The typical three-class capacity of the 747-400 is around 416 and 410 for the newer 747-8. The maximum permitted by regulations for the 747-400 is 660. This is the exit limit and is based on the number that can be safely evacuated from the aircraft in a specified time. For the 747-200, as used in Operation Solomon, the exit limit is just 550. For the highest capacity in normal use, the leader is the 747-400D. This was a high-capacity variant developed for Japan's domestic market with a shorter range but capacity of up to 600 in a single class. Only 19 aircraft were ordered and the last of these was retired in 2014. So how was such a high capacity reached? As a non-commercial flight, El Al clearly exceeded the regulated limit. This was physically achieved with seats removed. Also, there was limited cargo as passengers travelled mostly without belongings. In terms of takeoff weight, the fuel could be reduced as well since the flight was just over 2,500 kilometers. On a sadder note, many passengers were malnourished and had body weights and dimensions below average. But why did this operation take place? Operation Solomon came about following years of civil war in Ethiopia. In 1991, the government was close to being overcome by military rebels, and the Israeli government, with planning support from the US, decided to step in and evacuate Jewish civilians caught up in the conflict. Operation Solomon was the third such mission to evacuate civilians to Israel and evacuated most people. This was originally planned to operate for around two weeks, but was reduced to just 48 hours, hence the huge capacities. In total, it evacuated 14,325 Ethiopian Jews from Addis Ababa to Tel Aviv. Up to 34 aircraft from the Israeli Air Force and El Al were used, which included 747-200, 707 and C-130 Hercules military aircraft. We should say that there is some dispute about the total maximum passengers carried. Some sources say it was 1,078 or 1,088, while others claim it was as high as 1,122. Of course, any of these numbers would make it by far the highest ever carried and would still qualify for the record. The official record registered with Guinness World Records is 1,088 passengers. Had you heard about Operation Solomon and its record-setting flight before this video? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe before you go.